New coach Pat Scary is focused on turning around the Towson program by instilling a hard hat mentality and a commitment to defense. The Tigers will have plenty of new faces with only a pair of lettermen back. Senior center Robert Nowanko returns after averaging 10 points and nine rebounds as a junior and making the CAA's all defensive team after blocking 83 shots. Sophomore forward Eric Gums should move into a more prominent role. Freshman forward Jervon Presley leads a talented group of newcomers that also includes guard Chris Walden and forwards Deion Jones and Marcus Dumas. I believe in guarding man-to-man -man and rebounding the basketball uh, and that's certainly an area that's a major point of emphasis as we were last in the league statistically across the board. Defense and toughness, defense and toughness and taking care of the ball. So just be ment mentally tough more than physically tough. Towson is ready to move up the CAA standings as coach Joe Matthews has three starters back. Senior guard Crystal Parnell led the Tigers in scoring and assists last season and will be joined in the backcourt by Cherie Ledbetter and DeRay Folks. I think they should be and are practicing like they're very hungry for this season. Uh, and I hope some good things will come from, from that. If we come into workouts every day and work hard, it'll transition into the game. So that means in the weight room, in the classroom, on the court, he just wants us to work hard 100%. VCU will look to build on the momentum generated from last year's magical run to the NCAA Final Four. Coach Shaka Smart must replace four of the Rams' top five scorers, but several players who had key roles on the 28-win squad will return. Leading VCU will be senior Bradford Burgess, who ranked among the CAA's top 15 in scoring and rebounding last season. Also back are talented sophomore post players DJ Haley and Javante Reddick. Junior Darius Theus is expected to take over the starting point guard spot. Joining him in the backcourt are sophomore Rob Brandenburg and junior Troy Daniels. I'm excited because I think we have a very talented group. We have a group in terms of our returning players that have winning experience and they know what it means to be a part of a winning team. The older guys, not just myself, have to uh, show these guys, you know, what being a uh, part of the VCU program is all about, you know, and what it takes to win and win at a high level. VCU is aiming for a fifth straight postseason berth under their coach, Beth Cunningham. The Rams return four senior starters led by All-American forward Courtney Hurt, who averaged 23 points and 12 rebounds a year ago. Also back is all CAA guard Andrea Barber. You now the last couple years I feel like we've been right there knocking on the door but have come up a little bit short. And I think the group of seniors that we have, the upperclassmen that we have, are really focused in achieving that goal and hopefully we can, we can come out on top. That's the mindset at practice and that's what we talk about is taking that next step and winning a conference championship. William & Mary should be primed for a move up in the CAA standings as coach Tony Shaver welcomes back 12 of his 13 lettermen from a year ago. Two-time All-CAA honoree Quinn McDowell averaged 15 points per game last season and was the league's most accurate three-point shooter. He will be joined in the front court by sophomore Tim Rusthoven, junior Kyle Galliard, and three-point specialist John Mark Ludwig. The Tribe featured two of the CAA's top freshman guards last season in Brandon Britt and Julian Boatner, who combined for 18 points per game. Providing experience depth are senior Kendricks Brown and junior Matt Rum. We've got to be great defensively and, and we've got to win close games. I mean, it's what separated two years ago from last year. We've got to really be good in clutch, it, it, it clutch time. Just because you're another year older or you're another, uh, you have some experience doesn't mean that you're necessarily better. So you have to put the work in and I think we have. There is plenty of optimism at William & Mary as all five starters are back for coach Debbie Taylor. Leading that group are all CAA guard Taysha Pye, who was among the league's best in scoring, rebounding and assists, as well as junior forward Emily Carell. We're combining 
uh, eight players who have started at some point in their career with four very good freshmen. And so I think you've got experience, you've got depth, and this may be one of the best tribe, tribe teams we've seen in recent years. It's just been getting better and better every year. Um, we're getting great players and the competition is just rising. So this year we're going to step up and be one of those teams that's really improved. Even with the season just starting, it's never too early to think about postseason play. After all, it's every team's goal. The road starts with the Virginia 529 CAA Men's Basketball Championship at the Richmond Coliseum March 2nd through the 5th. And don't miss the magic of the Virginia 529 CAA Women's Basketball Championship as it returns to the Showplace Arena in Maryland March 8th through the 11th. Visit caasports.com for more championship information.